To balance this single displacement reaction, aluminum plus lead to nitrate, let's count the atoms up on each side. And we're going to use a little bit of a trick to make it easier. So we have one aluminum, one lead, and then this nitrate, this NO3 is a polyatomic ion, and it stays together in the chemical reaction. We have it here, and here it is again. So we're going to count this as one thing. I have one nitrate times two. That gives me two nitrates. On the product side, aluminum, I have one. Lead, I have one. And the nitrate, I have three times the one, so I have three nitrates. At this point, everything's balanced except these nitrate ions. Let's try to get this to be an even number by putting a two in front of the aluminum nitrate. So I have one times two. So now I have two aluminum atoms, but I have three times the two. That'll give me six of the nitrates. Then I can come over on this side and I need to have a three here. That'll give me two of the nitrates times the three. That gives me six. So those are balanced and I have one lead times the three. So now the leads aren't balanced, I have three leads. But that's not a problem, the lead's all by itself. If I put a three here, one times three, the lead's balanced. And the aluminum, I have two here and one here. Again, the aluminum's by itself. If I just put a two here, that only changes the aluminum. It doesn't change anything else. So one times the two, and the aluminums are balanced, and we're done. This equation, it's balanced. So you can see when we have these single displacement reactions, we have polyatomic ions that stay together on both sides, like the nitrate ion here. If you count them as one thing, it makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus PbNO32. Thanks for watching.